blessed, most merciful Heavenly Father. Lord, I come before you humbly, Lord, and I beg. And I plead, Lord, you give me the courage, the will, the words, the wisdom to speak, which you put in my heart to speak. I pray in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Amen. I am just the dust of the earth, and no one is beneath me. And the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven, and I am God's dirt. What is coming, and coming soon, is total collapse, economic collapse. Total in the sense that everything comes down. This collapse will be magnitudes worse than the 1929 crash. As then, we had money that had value. We had money that had silver in it, and which held up our money's value. But today, our money has nothing holding it up other than promises. But people recognize that a promise from a liar is not worth anything. So our banks, they were greedy buying crypto, selling crypto, real estate, investing in uh, Chinese real estate. And at first, everything was grand with them. But then, then, Evergrande defaulted. And other real estate firms, they defaulted as well and declared bankruptcy. And Evergrande alone was like a half a trillion dollars. And now, now, American banks who invested in Evergrande or in any Chinese real estate scheme have now lost, they've lost all that, all that money. So now our banks are dropping like dominoes and this will be coming to your bank as well. But this was all by design. Now the elite, they must collapse our economy and collapse the value of the dollar that way every American will be screaming for the government to do something. Now the elite, they, they manufacture emergencies so that they can come up with a solution to their manufactured emergencies to fix the problem. And the fix for this banking crisis is the new FedNow, the digital dollar. That is why they will say that this will save us but that is a lie. It is designed to control you and to punish you if you do not act the way that they think you should act and if you do not do the things that they want you to do. Attempt, like, like an attempt to make a political donation to the wrong person or the wrong party and then boom, they take half your money out of your account as a, as a punishment. And if you attempt to do this a second time, they will take all of your money and they may even close your account. And this will leave you unable to buy or sell anything. And so you will lose everything you had in your account. Now, does that sound kind of familiar? They are paving the way for the B system to come in. And if you do not follow what they tell you to do they will penalize you take your money and and it's in the works that they're coming up with a new uh, and if you don't take that then they will be able to take your money right out of your account but to get there you will suffer much pain suffering hunger even homelessness so after all of that, you will be willing to accept any solution to the problem. And their solution will be the digital dollar currency. And any tax on anything that you buy or sell will be taken automatically out of your account. Now even if you bought, say, a lawnmower, and you, you own it a year, and then you sell it a year later, the government collects tax when you buy it, and again, 
when you sell it automatically taken right out of your account so that's why they're all for this digital 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 dollar this is already in use in China ever notice how many times things are tested in China and then are used in America and this includes disease cures drugs bioweapons not to mention almost everything we use in America is made in China now China openly admits that they are at war with America they send spy balloons over America almost unopposed how many spy balloons have we sent over China and why is it and how is it that the first spy balloon flew over America and flew over several highly sensitive military installations unopposed and and never did they attempt to even shoot it down until after it got out over the ocean uh, off of uh, North Carolina they uh, steal our technology they have thousands of spies in America and they have men of military age that have snuck across our southern border thousands many thousands we do not really know how many but we do know that they are crossing our southern border every single day and most of them are men and of military age now when the collapse starts no one will receive any social security any government funds of any type will be issued by the federal government when that happens everyone and I mean everyone hits the streets everyone from gang members to little old ladies and everyone will, will be rioting and burning demanding demanding their money but there will be no more money the good times then they will be over and then death and destruction comes to America the United Nations will be called in the peacekeepers will be called in and peacekeepers is a funny term for them because that'll be more like a joke as they will kill for the slightest infractions everything will be in a massive in a massive turmoil and the UN then will invite Russia and China in to help keep the peace and they will come in unopposed but it is a lie they come in as conquerors and then they will kill everyone when the economy collapses nature turns on America as well and there will be massive storms not like before massive storms tornadoes hurricanes earthquakes volcanoes tsunamis it'll all ramp up during this time it will be painfully obvious that this is the judgment of God upon America and many fence setters and fake Christians only then only then will they weep pray gnash their teeth and then then they will fast because there is no food and then they will set in sackcloth or more likely in their filthy rags and set in ashes or dirt and only then will they call out to God but it will be too late for America yes revival is coming but not like you think yes repentance also is coming from many lukewarm Christians even though they may miss the rapture and now these left behind will suffer many things will suffer terribly but you must refuse to take the mark of the beast they must not worship the beast his image his name or his number and they must not deny Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior and they they must be martyred to make heaven their home because if you miss the rapture that will be the only way to make heaven your home then see why it, why it is so much easier to live for Jesus now than to try to live for Jesus in the tribulation but now there is there is good news here there is safety and salvation from what is to come but only but only through Jesus Christ and all you must do to be saved is humble yourself Jesus paid your sin debt with his blood with his very life and all you have to do is humble yourself and admit that you are a sinner in need of a Savior repent of your sin and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is the Son of God 
that Jesus was crucified and died on our old wooden cross on Calvary, that he was buried, but on the third day he arose from the grave and he walked this earth again inside of men. And that Jesus ascended up to heaven inside of men and that Jesus now sits on the right hand of the Father awaiting his glorious and triumphant return. Pray to place all your blood under the all your sin under the blood of Jesus. Pray for Jesus to enter your heart and give you a new heart and be with you all the days that you have left on this earth. You need to speak these words with your mouth. And remember, God is no longer in organized churches or any or at least 99.9% .9%, they have all been turned over to apostasy and God is not even in these churches anymore the, the churches that I used to go to they've all they've all sunk in, into apostasy and now we don't even go to church anymore we we have our own church and it's called the Azusa Street Mission and Revival Church I beg you do not follow a wolf in sheep's clothes they will only lead you straight to hell. Follow only Jesus and his word found in your King James Bible, the only true word of God. So today, the only church that you can trust is the Azusa Street Mission and Revival, the underground church. This will be the church that will be persecuted, hunted down, and prosecuted, as we will not conform to what all the other churches have become. And our website is www.azusa st.com and we will be open for as long as they allow us to be here and then we move underground if we're still here now if you read over our goals and you agree we invite you to join us at the Azusa Street Mission and Revival Church we also have uh, Azusa Street prayer line which is open Monday Wednesday and Friday starting at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time to 9 p.m. or the last caller now this line is, is not recorded and there are no commercials. So if you, a family member or a friend need prayer, please call and we will be glad to pray for you or, or yours. God bless you and yours mightily. We keep all of you in our prayers. If the Holy Spirit puts it in your heart to support this work, God's work, all we ask is that you obey the Holy Spirit. I do this work from my kitchen table and out of my basement and the Holy Spirit says that that is all that I need. And God can turn little things into very big things. Look what came out of a manger out of Bethlehem. Now, thank you, thank you for your love, your prayers, and your support for this ministry. Without faithful people like you, this work would be impossible. And with your help and guidance from the Holy Spirit, we have mailed out over 11,000 letters and CDs titled The Warning to thousands of churches, pastors, and Christian radio stations all across America, and even some in Canada, England, and Australia, all, all from my kitchen table. We also mailed out over 600 very nice, high-performance water filters to the needy and the low-income folks, and each one included a King James Bible, a book, a CD, literature, and, and other goodies. Now, these were the kind of water filters that you could filter out of water out of a stream or a ditch and make it safe to drink. Um, so these were very special water filters. We did all of this with your support and God's help. You have been a blessing to us, an absolute blessing. And we thank God, we thank God every day for sending you our way. We keep you and yours in our prayers with much love and more grace from above. Amen. I'm begging everyone, stay strong in the faith and come out of her, my people. Come out of the world. Separate yourselves from the world as this world is not our home. This world has nothing we need and nothing we want. Turn off your TV and turn on your Bible and turn on your prayer time. Uh, excuse me, your prayer time. Come away from the world and the things of the world and pray, repent, believe, read the words of God found only in your King James Bible. I want to read Revelation 18 and 4. And I heard another voice from heaven, heaven cry, saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, that ye not receive, that, re, that ye receive not of her plagues. We are so near the end of this now. So please, I beg you, I beg you, 
double your prayer time and then double it again I have and you need you need to as well because these are the last days we all need to seriously consider sackcloth ashes and fasting and prayer if not now when what are you waiting for the rapture as then it will be too late we all need to do this even me I'm, I'm speaking to myself here as well we're, go we're going home soon to be with Jesus in the clouds forevermore and we will see you we will see you on that day in the clouds with Jesus our blessed hope our blessed hope that great catching away and I do believe I do believe that there's going to be a revival I do believe it but that revival may not really ramp up until after the rapture but whatever God's will is whatever it is I'm, I'm all for it I'm all for it I, my prayer is God's will be done not my will not my will but his will his will I pray his will be done and sometimes I catch myself praying for the rapture but whenever I do whenever I do I always I always end that prayer with thy will be done Lord that will be done because God sits on the throne above everyone and God is in control and God is perfect and God's last days plan is perfect as well and as God took care of his children in the desert fed them manna from heaven part of the Red Sea for them to cross on dry land God will take care of his children that are here until we're raptured God bless you each and every one of you you're all in our prayers we love you all so very much we love you so very much we're going home soon we're going home soon get prepared we're going home soon thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus